SingHealth polyclinics across the island may soon feature robots working alongside humans to ease their workload. The machine, which is called Hero, comes under a new partnership between the healthcare group and Nian Polytechnic. It was unveiled at the launch of the Robotics Research and Innovation Center at NP. Nia Rongwei finds out more. Not all heroes wear capes. Some roll on wheels. And this one here works tirelessly, directing patients in the day and disinfecting the polyclinic overnight. It eases the strain on staff, with more patients turning up due to COVID-19. This robot also acts as a safe management ambassador. Using this camera, it can record my body temperature and also see if I'm putting my mask on properly. And if I'm not, this robot will send me a stern reminder. Hello, please adjust your mask to protect yourself and everyone around you. Trials of this robot begin at Tampanese Polyclinic this month. We're also looking at other uh, categories of robots to assist us, for example, in procedure, whether they can uh, uh, support the clinicians in administering uh, medications. Wound care is another area which our nursing colleagues will be very interested to collaborate with uh, the engineers to develop the in innovations, devices to support wound care. Much of the development work will be done at this newly launched facility, which will benefit about 40 students each year. Already, the centre is working on at least five different robots for use in various industries. As we get more and more industry projects, uh, I think uh, it, is, it presents us with a very good opportunity to really bring in uh, students from other disciplines as well. Uh, perhaps even have business students coming in right, to see how we can build a business case. Globally, there's a shortage of robotics talent made more acute by the growing demand for robotics in the pandemic. And with the growth of robotics industry, there will also be good and exciting career opportunities for people. A new part-time specialist diploma course will begin next April, targeted at graduates and mid-career switchers looking to enter this field.